give me some examples of what you mean by augmented advertising in print. Um, just the ad uh, has to be uh, has to contain a marker. The marker can be just simple shaped uh, black and white pic um, graph, or it can be complicated picture which a prog uh, program can recognize as a marker, as a startup, uh, as a startup button. And so the ad has to include this uh, marker, which has to be pre-programmed uh, beforehand. And when you show this to the web camera or mobile uh, uh, mobile phone camera, then uh, on the screen you can see uh, uh, the real picture combined with some virtual objects, uh, which is which is put into the program. So, what yeah. types of what types of advertising have you used or? Uh, uh, the, the one you've seen, uh, you've just seen in my presentation, it was uh, con like uh, uh, congrat uh, congratulating uh, readers or customer clients uh, with uh, a holiday. Mm. But it could be anything. It could be, uh, pre uh, let's say, uh, showing up a coupon, uh, discount coupon, which you can print out and uh, bring to. Uh, to a store. It could be, let's say, an ad, a video ad uh, that's showing something. It can be like price of the day and every day it will show something different or whatever. Just whatever you can imagine. And what, what benefits does it bring to, to your newspaper? To, to uh, it just uh, helping us to sell uh, more advertising. So you, you, you're talking about uh, you talked about the fact that it can it can open doors just sure. by just by showing it. Yes, uh, and and also because people uh, advertisers are ready to pay for this because of course we all charge a premium for this type of ad. It's just not a, si a simple space, but it's also these ads are more e efficient, effective uh, to advertisers, and as a result, they're happier and they buy more with us. Do you think they have? This type of advertising has a particular role in free newspapers, or is it equally no, it, applicable it, to all? It's it's applicable to e everywhere. Just uh, I've actually I've seen it in paid for magazines like uh, Popular Science or for, uh, Forbes magazine did some special feature on this. And what sort of future do you think free newspapers have? I think they have a good future <laughs> if they can uh, if they can uh, create a good audience and especially in um, uh, establishing themselves in leadership position, then can ha they can have a good future. Because when when advertisers shrink in their budgets for uh, for print, they o obviously put all most of the bets on the market leaders. So if a free newspaper, and it has a lot of potential to, to, be, uh, to become a, a leader, uh, because they, they, come, they can come to readers, uh, they can push uh, the, the product into the right reader uh, that advertisers want. So it's uh, in this way, uh, advertisers recognize that, that uh, it's a good, uh, a good ch communication channel for them. And they would uh, put their money onto the, uh, into these products. That's why.